Hey guys, my name is Melissa and I work with Derek over here at Optimize Your Biology. And today I will be taking over to talk to you about migraine glasses. I have four different brands here that we have tested, reviewed, and determined to be the best on the market today. But before we get into our review of those, I wanted to take you through some of the background and science behind migraine glasses. What makes them so special and say different from normal blue blockers or sunglasses? So if you wanna skip ahead to just the review of the glasses, you're more than welcome, but I personally recommend watching all the way through. Migraine glasses are kind of a newer breed that have recently come out with the research into green light and green light therapy. If you haven't heard of it, green light therapy is the practice of exposing yourself to a narrow band green light around 525 nanometers for a few hours a day, every day, consistently. So that could be over the course of a few weeks, a few months, or even years, if you find that it's helpful. So what does this do? Well, it turns out green light actually reduces our perception of pain, which is crazy because it just seems like light. Current research has shown that green light is actually very neutral in stimulating the retinal cells in our eyes. And most of us know about blue light, right? Blue light is the most triggering. That's why we have blue blockers and why you get eye strain when you sit in front of TVs and screens all day long. It's because of this blue light that is overstimulating our senses and can cause us that pain that comes with migraines. Now, not everyone has the same migraine triggers. I mean, if you experience migraine and you know other people that experience migraines, you'll probably know that different things can set you off. Science doesn't really know why that is. They're still trying to get to the bottom of migraines in general, but they have found that it is the overstimulation of those retinal nerves and our senses that cause that sensitivity to light or photophobia. So blue light has an effect, red light has an effect, but right in the middle where green is, is where there is the most balance. I have a whole scientific breakdown of this process on our website if you wanna learn more. But before you go over to the website, we're gonna dive into that review of these migraine glasses. You might be asking yourself, okay, how do migraine glasses play in? I know you've been talking about green light, but what are migraine glasses? Well, a good pair of migraine glasses will block a lot of blue and red light and leave the green. So let's see how they did. First up, we have the MigraLens glasses. Now, these lenses filter 88% of blue light and 91% of red light, leaving just that slight band of green light to come through, which is why they appear green. Now, another thing the MigraLens glasses do is they reduce overall lux or brightness of the space by about 80%. And this is kind of like a normal pair of sunglasses. So one of the concerns that people have with these glasses is the amount of brightness that they block. They worry about dark adapting. Now, dark adapting is the process of being constantly exposed to dim light or darkness so that your eyes become even more sensitive to light and bright light over time which would be awful for someone who suffers from photophobia with their migraines because they're already sensitive to light. But this would mean that you would need to wear these all day, every day, indoors, outdoors, all the time. And this is something that I don't recommend. I think that the MigraLens glasses are the best when they are worn, either at the beginning of a migraine or at the beginning of any kind of light sensitivity symptoms that you might have. I mean, you can wear them outdoors as much as you want, but for indoors, just wearing them when that migraine strikes is the most beneficial. I mean, I use them when my migraines strike and I can tell you in just a few hours, these are wonderful. Now, some people also complain about the green filter of the lens. As you can see, they do make the world look very green, but I can assure you that after a while, your eyes will adapt and it won't be so strange. That's the Migra lens. They're great for treating acute migraine symptoms, but maybe not for wearing all day, every day. Next up, we have the Avulux lenses. 
The Abbey Lux lenses block 73% of blue light and 24% of red light, but it also doesn't sacrifice our color perception. Abbey Lux has strategically filtered out only the harshest wavelengths that research has shown to stimulate our eyes. So they're very surgical in their approach. They also only reduce Lux by about 54% so they're not like wearing a pair of sunglasses indoors. You can wear them all day, every day, as much or as little as you want. So they're great for overall prevention of photophobia and those migraine symptoms. Now, when I mentioned that they don't sacrifice color perception earlier, as you can see, looking through these lenses, they are not as green as the micro lens. And this is because they have only cut out those harsher wavelengths. This means that we get more of the other colors of light coming through to our eyes, and so therefore, it looks relatively normal. There's still a slight greenish tint, but it's not overwhelming. The Avulux are also the only migraine glasses currently to be clinically proven, meaning that they've had an independent, double-blind, placebo-controlled, randomized trial to show that they are effective in not only reducing the frequency of chronic migraines, but also reducing the intensity and the duration of the migraine pain itself. That's insane. And since they're not overwhelmingly green, you can wear them out in public without feeling self-conscious. So that's a big win. One of the only downsides to Avulux is the price tag. They are extremely pricey, but if you're someone who is looking for a non-medicating way to treat your chronic pain, this is a great place to start. I think it's a great investment in stepping away from pharmaceutical medications that can have really nasty and harsh side effects. These don't have any side effects at all because it's just blocking and controlling what color light comes to your eyes. I recommend giving them a try. Avulux does have a 60 day free trial and you just pay shipping to send them back if you're not satisfied. Now our third pair of migraine glasses that we tested are the Glow FX Green Color Light Therapy lenses. These lenses are kind of the opposite of the Avulux in terms of price range. They're just a cheapo pair of green filtered glasses, but they do filter up to 68% of blue light and 83% of red light. Unfortunately, as you can see, they still leave a lot of light in that 480 nanometer range, but because they block so much of everything else, they do still work, but maybe just not as well as say the Migra lens. And if we look through these lenses, we can see that they do also turn the world rather green, but we get the hint that it's more of a bluish green than the green green of the Migra lens. So yeah, if you're tight on a budget, but you still want to give green therapy a try, and if you still want to give migraine glasses a try, this is a great place to start. You can find them on Amazon. We have links to all of these products in the description below. Also, if you're down there, give us a like. If you are liking this review, it really helps out the channel. So thank you for that. Now our fourth and final pair of glasses that we reviewed are the Therospecs. Now, as you can see, these aren't green at all. They're rather pink, but this is because the Therospecs are actually kind of the old world take on migraine glasses. They are FL41 lenses, so they're blue blockers, and they're very good blue blockers at that. The FL41 lenses have been put through multiple trials to show that they are effective in treating migraine photophobia and also to decrease the frequency of chronic migraines but they're not so good at really reducing the intensity and duration of migraines. And I believe that's because it's only filtering out that one set of harsh light and totally ignoring the red spectrum. And it also cuts into the green side of the spectrum, which as we now know, is where a lot of that healing light comes from. So we included the Therospecs in our review because if you have already been a part of the blue blocking community and you already have a pair of good blue blockers or even Therospecs, you don't necessarily need to upgrade to migraine glasses if you do suffer from migraines, but if you've been finding that they don't exactly work the way that you hope that they would, maybe give a pair like Avulux or like MicroLens a try. You could find some great relief from your pain by just adding in a little bit more of that green light and reducing some of this red. 
All right, that's all the glasses that I had for you today. And if you enjoyed this review and if you found it helpful, please give us a like and also subscribe to our channel to see what other kind of light therapy we are diving into. I mean, Derek's been up to blue light therapy and light therapy devices like sad lamps and we have more reviews of those coming out so stay tuned to our channel and also check out all of our written reviews they're on our website all the links are in the description below and yeah thanks for watching and see you next time